Hi guys, so let's learn Skyfall by Adele on the piano. And the song is basically on C minor. There are roughly three sections. You'll have the verse repeating quite often, like that, this is the end, and so on. Na 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 na. And then, of course, the part where she sings Skyfall. And the Skyfall. That's like this very epic part, right? So, what I'm going to do in this tutorial is I'm going to give you the actual chords of the song. But while doing it, I'm also going to try and give you the easier versions of it, which don't include seventh chords and ninth chords and other extended harmony, which is beyond the triads. So, a triad is nothing but three notes, right? Which build a chord. You have the root, you have the third and the fifth. So for the most part, you can get away with playing the song with these triads. However, there are also some other alterations and some uh, embellishments to the chord. You get chords like that and then... Right? And then there's a bridge also, which happens obviously once in the part. chords and you know stuff like that so um, I'm going to give you the original version which I which I was able to hear to the best of my ability as well as the simplified version whenever I think it's getting a little bit challenging so do stay tuned and follow along so let's first do the verse part okay so the verse is basically for those of you playing it, playing the chords, even guitarists, you can follow the note sheet which I have there. You'll see there's C minor, A flat major, F major and F minor. So these are the chords and you have an F minor 7th if you know what a 7th is, F else you can just play F minor. So these are the chords for the first, sorry, for, for the first three cycles of the verse or the, or the first three bars of the verse the fourth bar we go into the next part so that happens three times and the fourth bar we go into this section c minor slash d that means you'll be playing d in the bass and c minor in the in the as a normal chord and then you have a suspended chord g sus4 i'll show you that and then g major Okay, and anything written with these yellow brackets means that the chord is played or these two chords are played over four counts or over one bar. So that means in, more, in most, most likelihood this would be twice or two counts. This would also be two counts. Similarly, C minor for two. So this is the end. A flat, F, F minor and so on and so forth. Right. So let's just break it down. And I'll play you the chords first. So that's C minor, A flat major, F minor, F minor, C minor, A flat major, F major, F minor. However, what the piano plays in verse 1 is this. So it's quite easy actually if you think about it. I've written it down in the purple colors. Basically E flat and C together. E flat and the high C. So you just hit that with the pulse of the song or as quarter notes. And in the left hand, Can play the bass notes of the song namely C A flat F and stay on F and try to follow my thumb of the left hand it's basically playing the eighth notes which are against or off the beat right one and two and three and four and next and so on. 
However, the last hit of the F minor happens even more off the beat. So, so tan tan ta da tan. This is the normal version, and then. If you're counting in sixteenth notes, this would be at the E of the four. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E. So that's pretty much your pattern for three bars of every verse. This is the end. time f okay then it goes to c minor in the right hand and this is how i am hearing it in the original e flat g c the first inversion of c minor right e flat g c and in your bass you don't play c as you would normally play c minor you play c minor with a d in the bass that adds clearly as you can hear it's adding a lot of tension right okay so basically the first three lines of the verse you play what i taught you earlier just e flat and c in the right hand c a flat f f in the left hand okay with that interesting thumb rhythm one more time then okay let me break that down the last bar 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and just observe the last it's a g sus 4 chord So a G sus four will be basically a major chord where you take the major third and move it up to a fourth. In the original, he plays an inversion, so it sounds like this is the melody line, like okay. The name of the chord would be G sus four to G major, two counts per chord, right? So feel the uh, na na. Okay. Okay. Let me just show you the entire verse and pardon my singing. It's basically just to give you an idea, right? So let's go. This is the end. your entire verse one so the second verse the piano what i've written in this uh, red area if you see in that verse the piano in addition to these hits which is just basically e flat and c what i've heard is the piano is basically adds like the james bond theme which i'm sure you know da, 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 right and so on So you get that James Bond uh, flair, and uh, obviously this is a James Bond song, so you need to have that, right? So the second verse, what you do different than the first verse is instead of just playing E flat and C, you add the James Bond theme, perhaps with these fingers. So. Okay. Na 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 na. earlier you did right now 
you're just adding those middle notes which is G A flat A and back to A flat so let's do that and the left hand stays exactly the same the right hand also the extreme notes stay the same it's just the middle notes which move na 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 is why i wrote f minor 7 because it actually forms that f minor 7th chord right na, na. first verse that doesn't change and now we go to the chorus so the chorus i'm i'm just going to break it down just to understand how the chord changes happen so the the chords which i am going to circle right now are basically the important chords which you need to play that's c minor a flat major f minor and then you need to do this part d minor and g and then the second time he, they go to f uh and then d 7th and g so these last two chords you need to get right however the ones which i circled are your main chords and the ones which i did not circle are the passing chords now the passing chords are very easy to play you just have to remain with the main chord and change the bass so let me just show you this section in the sky for 3 4 so at the 4 you drift to b flat in the in the bass or in the left hand and that's also what the bass instruments either the cello or the entire orchestra section is doing they are going or drifting to the b flat so that passes to the next chord which is a flat right so and uh, you do three counts of c minor and the fourth count is also c minor but c minor with a b flat bass let's see how that sounds in the sky for 3 4 and then remember. okay so now you go to an a flat major 7th so an a flat major 7th is nothing but an a flat with an additional major 7 so that's a g a flat c e flat g you could perhaps write this down a flat c e flat g and the way i am voicing it on the piano is in the right hand i am just playing c e flat and g because my a flat anyway comes in the bass right so if i add a flat here it tends to sound a bit muddy so i pref so this is how it's actually voiced i think in the song so it's basically you can look at it like a c minor with an a flat or an a flat major 7 with a flat in the left hand c e flat g in the right hand so in the sky for in the ground okay that's a c minor 7th with a g in the bass okay so i guess you guys got c minor and then c minor with b flat now you should be able to get a flat major 7th with a c minor 7th forward slash g if you are not sure about the chord symbols just try to follow me playing i'm sure you'll get it because i'm sure you've all heard the song so it's easy to follow with the singing part and the sky for c minor 7th with g and the second half of the cho chorus has this line first and then it has this line second so that's f minor 7th okay so that's f minor 7th this is how i'm playing it the notes for f minor 7th would be f a flat c e flat i'm voicing it like this with f in the bass 1 2 3 and then we take it we climb it down f minor 7th then the b 
bass changes to E flat. And it comes back to this line, uh, the first chord, C minor. So let's do the whole first line of the chorus. D minor 7 flat 5 This is how you play D minor 7 flat 5 And D minor 7 flat 5 basically is like a D diminished chord With a minor 7th That's C on the top So D minor 7th with a C on the top And this is your G 7th So and that's like a very popular 2-5 progression. The 2-5 of the C minor scale. Generally, 2-5 goes back to 1. So it's a great way to sort of repeat the line. It's like a very epic way also to do it. Okay? So let's just do the second half of the chorus. Okay? And now the whole line. happens same thing so far okay that is a normal F major that makes it very positive and that's F major with an E flat okay so you, again you drift to E flat That's like a very dissonant sound. That's what the orchestra is sort of playing. They're doing a D major, a D dominant seventh, which is D, F sharp, A, and C. And then you end with G seventh minus the G because I'm playing the G here. Okay? So let's do the whole second line of the chorus. to your verse progression with that James Bond vibe, right? And then another verse happens. Let's just do the entire chorus once and uh, <clears throat> yeah, just follow along. I'll try to do it slowly and if you have any doubts, try to write these chords down and try to write the notes of every chord down so that you're playing it, you know, the right way and when I started with chords, it was more about the sound of the chord. So, the symbol of the chord can always reach you later. It's the sound which matters more and how you play it. So, uh, as long as you can play it and you understand the sound and you feel the vibe of what you're doing, I think eventually the symbols will start catching up with you guys, right? So, don't pay that much attention to the chord symbols. Yes, it is confusing, even for me, but... Uh, I think if when you understand that this that this sounds good with the song, you're going to play it and then you'll find other songs like that. And since the sound enters your system, it's just a matter of naming it with a simple uh, chord symbol, right? So the chord symbol is just a means to simplify the chord. Otherwise, you'll have to write down all the notes and stuff like that, which becomes tough, right? So let's just do the chorus once more and then I think we just have one more part which is the bridge, right?
and the bridge basically has two sections one where she does this uh, in the sky fall where it crumbles and so on so that part is entirely c minor okay in fact i don't think the piano is there that often so it's more the orchestra but you can just hold a c minor at the bridge until it reaches the point where she actually starts singing the melody of that bridge so in the sky fall in a crumble ta da 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 na 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 so i've added this diminished chord as well c diminished so perhaps at the end of the bar you could add the diminished chord okay and then lastly the singing part na 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 down that section so that's f minor 7th add the 9 so basically you can play a flat c e flat and g in the right hand with an f bass here na na okay the second chord um <clears throat> it's optional if you are not sure of playing this chord you can just play f minor and go immediately to a flat major right so that's a passing chord whenever you see a 3 plus 1 it means this is a passing chord for that so even if you don't play this as a new comer to the piano it's it should be good enough right so na 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 okay that's b diminish 7th as we call it with a g bass so that creates a lot of tension right na 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 2 3 na na and then it goes to a flat major with an additional 6th that makes it an a flat major 6th chord again if you're not sure of adding the 6th just play a flat major and that should be fine okay na na 2 a very nice sounding chord that's e flat major with a b flat bass in the left hand na 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 and now na 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 3 4 so that's e flat over b flat b flat right b flat bass now 3 4 at the 4 you do g with b na 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 c minor C minor with B flat bass. Na 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 na. Again A flat. Passing G, which I wrote in red. F minor. Then passing E flat. And then that D minus seventh flat. Uh, that D minus seven flat five, which I showed you at the chorus. ending with g major you can even add a g 7th if you know it okay so let's just do this entire uh, singing part of the bridge na 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 it's an awesome song for the piano um yeah so if you followed till the end of this video which i i'm sure you have since you're watching it um there's also that intro 
which you have to figure out what to do, right? There's a string build up and a crescendo with lots of this orchestral drumming and bass sections. So uh, just follow along just for that intro part. So you can just hold this chord. So this is a C minor. an added D. So C minor and just find a way to fit a D somewhere. And then the top D So at the very beginning the pianist does that roll. D, C, G, E flat. So you can either play it like by crossing or with your pinky. If your pinky is weak, you can perhaps do it with your middle finger. And perhaps hold down the pedal so all those sounds come together. And then you may want to lift it. And then as I taught you the verse part, which is the same as the intro part before she starts singing. So you either go or... just like a trill okay and at the beginning you could perhaps start like that and then back to the right so this is my uh, understanding if you will, of this famous song Skyfall by Adele. Again, I've demonstrated it on the piano, but if you're a guitar player or any other instrumentalist, do try and figure out the chords. There are some amazing chords and pretty much all the James Bond theme songs are awesome, right? From the very beginning. So you, you definitely have that James Bond vibe, very orchestral and the chords, since the theme is very, very epic and very movie-like, you know, um, you, the chords are definitely going to add a lot more character. It's not going to be the same major and minor chords. So uh, th this tutorial was, I'm sure, a little bit longer than the usual ones. But uh, yeah, there were a lot of chords to talk about. And if you have any doubts or any questions regarding the formation of the chords, do try and send us a comment and we'll be happy to respond at the earliest. Cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon for notifications, leave us a comment for any other video you'd like us to do next and don't forget to share the video with all your musician friends. Cheers.